uh, we only met about, I don't know, half hour ago? Yes. Yeah, and, uh, but I have seen you a lot because I think uh, Amazing is one of those songs that, <laughs> it, let's just say it totally, totally appeals to my, thank you. There's oh, your beer. Thank you so much. And a half a pint for the lady. Um, okay, cheers. Amazing, I mean, cheers. <laughs> Here's to you. Thank Here's you. to Estonia. Amazing is one of those songs that uh, fits into kind of me going into a club and going totally fucking crazy on the dance floor. Is it okay if I swear? Yes, I don't maybe know if I'm I would. I don't want to. I don't want to. But I'm trying okay. to emphasize how much yeah. how much this song. Okay, you okay, got it. Yeah. It makes me really crazy. Uh, I love it. And uh, to see you here in person, I'm, I, you know, doing these talk shows, I try and <coughs> remain a professional, but I'm actually a fan. <laughs> <laughs> You're here. So She's cool. here. <laughs> thank you. And thank, thank you. you for coming again. Let's. Um, one of the things I didn't know about you um, is that you. Again, like a lot of Eurovision artists, you come on our ra uh, fans' radar, but you maybe had a lot of things going on locally. And in Estonia, you have been performing and you've had a long career and you've been in various different groups and you've been in various different uh, you know, theater productions, etc. cetera. Uh, why Eurovision, why now? Well, I've been a fan of Eurovision like for 23 years. Mm -hmm. I'm that old, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a you're not a day over not you're not okay, a day I'm over 30. 24. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So uh, yeah, I just love your revision, and this uh, actually I've tried uh, to send a song for four years before, mm -hmm. but it didn't get through. Mm. This year we we decided to try again, and and it seems like it was the right time, and Thank the right thing to do. So I'm here now. So. You're here yeah. now, and it's, it's amazing, <laughs> yeah. as you say a lot in your song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about your, your life and where you came from, wh wh what your history is, because okay. maybe, maybe our, our audience don't really know. Uh, you were originally born in Kaliningrad, which is part of Russia. Correct. About 20, 19, 20 years ago. And then you, I'm joking with you, <laughs> 21 years ago. And then you, uh, but you know, I, I get the feeling with the artists that I meet, the further east you go in Europe, the more important singing is as something that everybody does. I mean, in Sweden, where I live, people, everyone I know is in a choir. They all want to sing in a choir. No one wants a solo career. There's people in bands, but mm -hmm. choirs are very, very important for Swedish people. But it seems to me like, I don't know, every time we move further east on the map, people from when they're very young, they start to enter competitions, and they don't just sing. I mean, where, where, you, you, where you grew up, it's important that you're like what you call a triple threat. You know, you, you can sing, but you can also look good on stage, you know how to dance, et cetera. And has this, uh, I'm just guessing, I mean, has this been where you have gone? Are you just a singer uh, full stop or do you, can you do a lot of stuff? No, I, I like to think of myself as a performer because mm -hmm. I really just love to do anything I can do on stage. It doesn't matter dancing or singing or acting. I just love doing it, and as a, I'm, I'm Russian, uh, so I've yeah I've done a lot of um, competitions as well, and uh, I, I was around seven years old when I I understood that show is very important on stage. It's something that I really love to do. So I had I've seen I had this um, um, video. B H S. Yes. Not an M P three. Not an MP3. Not like an MP3. MP3. No, it was no, a okay. long time ago. Okay. With Madonna show from um, I think Africa, girly show, and she she had this massive show production and dancing, and I was just blown away. So from Madonna is, yeah, because of her, I thought that yeah, I'm gonna dance, I'm gonna do that as well. That so was, that was the moment when it clicked. Yes. So my first. Um, like I think I was around 10 years old when I had my first big song composition and I I asked my two girlfriends just to dance with me so I had like two dancers on stage everybody was like what are you doing and I was like singing and dancing with those and I won yeah <laughs> so from that on I just keep Keep on dancing. And was this like Destiny's Child, though, where you were Beyonce and you said goodbye to the other two after you, after you won? Or, oh, or come on! You, but yes, then the answer is yes, isn't no, it? No, <laughs> they were not singers. Not really, Rick. Ha ha ha! Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I won, and see ya. It was it was like that, though, wasn't it? No, I'm joking. No, you no, don't have no, to no, answer no. that yes, question. Yes, I won. It was a bad. It was a bad question. <laughs> Listen, 
Um, you, uh, you know, my background is, uh, I, I'm really not only a fan of Eurovision, but I really like musical theater. My parents uh, took me to Broadway shows when I was a kid from very young, and so it's like in my blood. Uh, and uh, when I took a look or a, a, a sniff around online to see where your, if there was any evidence of your career, I came up with a clip from a musical you were in. Where? Oh my God, which one? Kiss of the Spider Woman. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Kiss of the Spider Are Woman. Are you kidding? No, no, I'm not kidding. YouTube does not kid. Oh. Kiss of the Spider Woman, for those of you who don't know it, it was a book and it was a play and then it was a film and then it became a Broadway musical. And it's the only musical that I can think of about two prisoners in a South American country and one of whom is gay and the other one is like a very macho revolutionary and they kind of fall in love in a friendship, a very friendship, somewhat sexual way. Yes, strong, it's, strong story. It's not like, you know, uh, Mamma Mia. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not, no, it's you know, not, it's yeah. like prison, you know, yeah. homoeroticism, this and that. And your part in this, from the research that I did, was mm -hmm. playing, it's two, two characters, because it's actually a fascinating musical. It's crazy, crazy good, but you need a kind of strong stomach to take it. And in order to pass the time, the gay prisoner has, is remembering this artist called Aurora. And Aurora was a big musical theater, not a musical theater, she made musicals, like film musicals. And to pass the time to keep them sane, he, she, he, this prisoner keeps talking about this film that she's in. And as he's talking in the musical, the scenes from the movies get reenacted on stage. And, you, and there's one role that she had where she was the Spider Woman, and that was the one he didn't like. Because the Spider Woman, everywhere she went, meant death. And so Kiss, yes, of, the Kiss of the Spider Woman was then, that was the end. I've got the plot right, I think. Yes, yes that, okay. you're correct. Yeah. So the clip that I found is, oh, okay. is not you being the bad, uh, bad, uh, bad Spider Woman, but actually being Aurora in one of these uh, musicals. And I never heard this in Estonian before, so this was quite interesting, because I only know it in English. Okay. Can we play the, can we play, uh, the first video, Nadine? Uh, oh you'll see. This will probably bring back some memories. Well, there you go. Okay. Do you have... Thank you I so much, because <laughs> I'm just uh, hearing that my guys from Estonia, they were laughing because of my Estonian uh, Russian accent, so thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty bad. I thought, the, I, thought they were, I thought they were laughing because of your hair in this. The hairstyle, the Medusa hairstyle. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure it's about the language. It was the Russian because accent. Because it, it was a long time ago, and, and by the time I... I couldn't really speak Estonian yet, so like well. <laughs> but many yeah. people in this contest can't speak English, but they sing in English. That's a good point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it works here, so it works here, yes. why not in Estonia? Thank you so much for this history That's channel. my pleasure. Yeah. I have some more history that I actually dug up. Oh, no, come but on. But it's more, it's, it's more Eurovision related, so okay. it's within you know, the, the framework of why we're here. Okay. Uh, you have performed in a ton of musicals, you told me. All the big American ones, you know, that had been coming over to, to Estonia. Uh, Fame, Cabaret, Chicago, this one, Kiss of the Spider Woman. 
a bunch of like local Estonian ones, you know, that are popular there. So you you've had a, quite a career as a musical theater actress, and in a small country, that's that's saying something, you know, yeah. that you can constantly get work. But you also have had a separate pop career. It hasn't just been all about musicals. And you were in a, you were in a, a group called Night Light Duo. Is that right? Yes, it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. <laughs> Yet again. I feel the yes. I feel <laughs> the dread of the second video coming up, <laughs> because uh, you you were competed in Eurolol. Uh, I, I, I in Night Light Duo you competed twice before, 2002 and then 2003. 2003 was like pre-internet days, so all these fans probably didn't see this particular national final. Like, you just have to go to ERR and turn it on and you can watch it now. But uh, in 2003, it was probably impossible. So I dug up a song, <coughs> and it's called I Can Be, the letter B, the one, number one. So you were going for this kind of Prince Very thing. Very original. Very original, <laughs> yes. all right. Uh, we're just going to play a little bit of this to spare you uh, any embarrassment okay, you may I'll feel. I'll have to take a zip. All okay. right, take a little bit of beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is from 2003, Nightlight Duo, I Can Be The One, number one. You yeah. are the one, number one, yes? Oh, sorry, Pep 1000 put this video together for you. And this uh, thing, thing with, uh, on this map. <laughs> yeah. Fun memories. Thank you. But I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why that that didn't win that year because it's like perfectly in time with the era. It was like a perfect 2003 song, kind of schlagery, a little bit of guitar, you know, lots of hair. <laughs> yeah, I don't know yet. You don't know. Yeah, you, don't know this, you, you you don't think about that song at night when you go to bed. I guess no, you've I don't. forgotten about it. Okay, let's stop going. About, let's stop talking about the past. I'm gonna. We're going to take a break from our chat. Okay. And I think, why don't you do what you do best and, and do give, uh, perf let's perform for the audience. Let's, as in you, perform for the audience. <laughs> you don't want to hear my voice. Okay. And then um, we'll come back and talk a little bit more. Okay, yes? let's do that. Okay, yeah, take it away. Um, when Amazing won in Estonia, it got 53% uh, of the vote. Yeah. Which I'd say is pretty good because uh, uh, that was like a definitive win, you know. Well, yeah, it's 3%. To win, so yeah. Right yeah, there. that's true. <laughs> like <literally. Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. ti and Timo, you've been working with, who co-wrote this song. He wrote the song. We wrote it, together, wrote it together. Yeah. Uh, you've been working with him for years and years and years. Eleven years. Okay. Are you family now? Because sometimes when artists work together with very distinct ideas about what they want to do, it's like a love-hate relationship. Like they love to hate each other. They can't work without each other. But they have to. They it's yeah, hard to work with each other. Yeah, it's something about us. We uh, we fight a lot, but we perform a lot. I love him. He loves me. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, but we keep on fighting. <laughs> you better, yeah, you better say like, yeah. You better uh, say yes, Timo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Old married couple. You know, we had just uh, one great fight when we came from Tartu, I think, to Tallinn. It's like 200 kilometers, and we were driving with other musicians in a car, and we just were talking about music very loudly. No, you're wrong, I want this. So they just stopped in the middle of nowhere and threw us out of the car <laughs> and said, just sort it out, and then you can sit back in the car. So it was in the middle of the night. It was cold. It was Estonian winter. <laughs> And, it, we, and we were in the middle of the forest, so in the middle of nowhere, just screaming at each other, then, no, this song was better, this song is better. So yeah, we did it for a half an hour, and then just, I love you, love you too, and to tell him. So. And then in the end, you got back in the car and you put on Let It Go from Frozen. 
This is a good song. This yeah, is a very good song. Yeah, that, was, yes. that settled everything. But it was, yeah. Let okay. it go. No, all right. Um, that joke didn't really work. I'm sorry. I tried. Uh, but um, I think uh, with Amazing, it's the kind of song that's, that is what I think modern Eurovision is about. It used to be, you, uh, you know, 15 years ago, it would be impossible to perform something like this because you had a, a live orchestra playing with you. Uh, doing, a doing a song that's very much a club song, a dancey song, and the arrangement you're doing in Eurovision in a giant arena like this, does it fit? I mean, you've had a rehearsal. Have you had two rehearsals already? Yes. I've okay, you had the second today. Yes. Uh, does it, does it, is it a comfortable fit for you to do this boom, boom, boom? Well, yeah. this is something I do for like last eight years. I do a lot of dance music. I love to perform in nightclubs with my girls in the heels and just, you know, so it's, yeah, I've done a lot of dance songs. Uh, we wrote a lot of dance songs. So for me, it's something I do. So I perform what I love to do. So this was no, this is not an... No, 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 it's, not, it's, it's something, we wrote a song I, I would really love to perform uh, on stage. And uh, I dance my f in my favorite style as well. So it's, it's something that, uh, it's, this is me. Mm -hmm. So it's something I love to do. And it's, it's... Amazing. <laughs> I had to say it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I was waiting for that to happen. Yeah, and it I, finally, just, I just it finally wanted to find 20, another word, but 20, I couldn't. 20 minutes <laughs> okay. in. It's, fa it, it's fabulous. It's okay. fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. It's fantastic. Uh, the, uh, your time here in Copenhagen, have you had any time to see the city at all? Have you yeah, we had a day off. Yeah. So we did like total a tourist day. We took a hop on, hop off bus. <laughs> <laughs> And drove around the city, but it was fun, actually. We've seen a lot of stuff. And did you go to the Little Mermaid? Of course we did. We got off the bus, we did a picture, and on the bus. So, But we have the same uh, sculpture in the hotel lobby, just a little smaller. So I thought that I can go and pose with that, like I was and in the middle. And pretend that you were like a giant woman, yes, you know, yes, posing yes. next to... So, the yeah, that was fun. <laughs> but, yeah, we have... Uh, tomorrow we have a free day, so... I don't know where we're going. Well, the head of you, where, are you, where are you going, March? What's happening yeah, wh tomorrow? Where are we going? Aquarium. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why okay. I asked. I wanted to see how much information you give away. Okay. Yes, that's where we're going okay. tomorrow. Okay. And what, yeah. what, what time are you going? I'm just checking for. Every <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, I'm just checking for me because I might turn up there. Uh, I'm the stalker. Um, do you? Um, what are your hopes uh, post Eurovision? I mean, do you think very far into the future? Like, okay, uh, in 2014, I must achieve this, and then I have this, and then I want to be doing this, or? Oh, no, 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 no. I just uh, want to enjoy the whole process. Mm. I have a lot of small dreams, not the huge one, and a lot of small dreams. I really love to perform in other countries than Estonia as well for other people, because I really love to perform, and we, we have a very small country, so already I think everybody has seen me in Estonia, <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I would love to perform somewhere else as well. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I just want to say thank you so much again for coming <laughs> and chatting with us and chatting with everybody who was really interested to see you. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, you're going to do a second song? Yes, we're we going to do a second song. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I leave you with Tanya. Yeah, thank you. Take it away. Oh.